We just brought Mama some lake water here. We had uh, some 14% um, off stock pellets here and she cleaned those up. She's giving her a little break after she's found out here after I returned home this evening with uh, two little babies. I knew they were born because she wasn't <laughs> right there. She was missing and I knew she was going to have them from the looks of her udder and everything about her lately. So sure enough, she's just a little distance from the cabin down here in these woods with oak leaves and oak and grape and sweet gum leaves all around and nice pleasant day it's just on the, the verge of springtime now and well we've still been getting some frost and all it feels pretty mild here tonight and um i think it's a good day to you know without the rain and all now that we've had some rains you know so it's a it's a good day for her to have these little babies two little babies sired by esteban you can tell certainly from the markings well one of them's definitely latching onto them teats right now and getting some milk. That's what we want to see. We got a, a buckling and a doling here. So we got a chance at life, but nothing's for sure, folks. The challenges we meet out here, it's just incredible. I mean, dealing with nature is one thing, but when you have to deal with evil, hateful people, Intolerant bigots with no compassion whatsoever. Selfish, greedy, selfish people that, that don't give a damn about these goats. They've caused so many deaths out here. They've caused so much pain. I sacrifice all for these critters. I do everything I can. I'm on the, I'm on the verge of starvation all the time. <laughs> I work seven days a week. I work in from all the time. I'm work while I'm sleeping, folks. Um, I'm doing everything for these goats, but there are big forces that work against us, and I'm just going to keep moving forward. I'm going to keep trying to secure more land and get more of all the infrastructure and supplies, materials, everything we need in place. So we want to see both babies... Drinking the milk from their mama. That's what we want to see. Isabella's a, a wonderful mama. She's one of our first original goats. And we've done, we've saved her life many times where she's been on the brink from one thing or another. But overall, she's been very healthy. But once in a while, you get a little, a little brush with uh, anemia or something and, and, She's bounced back. She's been treatable. And then this new life's come through to her. And uh, she's known it. You can just tell by the way she behaves and the way she's foraging and seeking to always get something to eat. She knows she's bringing these kids on and she wants to get the nutrition for it. She's impossible to fence. She'll jump out. She knows she wants something. It's the ones that don't escape that die. The ones that don't get out to get food somewhere I mean they're fed but you can't feed a goat properly without acres and acres of forage land and while we have lots of land out here it's is still it's like in the winter um there's this fear that they're going to go off the border and these hunters are going to have us arrested have us locked up they're going to take our goats there's been threats and actions that you just you just wouldn't believe if you knew the details that they could get away with it in a modern world but we're in southern alabama folks there's some very hateful nasty people and they they hate these goats they got a culture of hatred towards these animals and they do nothing but slaughter these deer that's their big thing in cold blood they feed them with artificial feed and rotted peanuts and and then shoot them from these these cowardly shooting houses that they build. Anyways, 
We hope that the future is for the brave and the cowards can't win over us, but we're going to keep fighting. We're going to keep fighting for the lives of these precious goats. Fighting in defense. In defense. A defensive way. We're not offensive people. We're defensive. We're compassionate, caring people. Fighting against, protecting against those who are not compassionate and caring. We'll do all we can for these precious critters. Please join us in the mission, folks.